Hey everyone, today we're ranking every single one of the Mori animations. This is including all of the Mori animations that are in the core game. The base ones, the alternate ones for special power circumstances, and finally cosmetic based ones. Which is admittedly just one, but still. I do hope you enjoy, and as always, let me know your thoughts too, down below. Trappers to me is still the weakest of the lot. With him whipping his blade about, it feels a little odd and weightless, a product of its time. Billy's Mori is another product of its time. It's a very simplistic animation with him lifting the saw and simply planting it down. It's relatively brutal and unsettling, but comparatively to the stuff we have today, slightly dull. Twins without Victor is a relatively simple Mori, with Charlotte simply whacking her weapon at different angles. It sort of works and does fit the twins somewhat well, but still fairly dull. Wraith's Mori has a slightly more unique take compared to the other two of the original three characters. The Mori has the survivor crawling away, and Wraith yanks them back. It's quite unsettling for that. However, that feeling is ruined when he does the weird weightless slashes later on, a bit like Trapper's. Sadako's Condemned Mori is quite simplistic and rather dull. We see a close-up of the eye, followed by the survivor wriggling about a bit and clutching their heart. Creepy, but very simple. Freddy has sort of a dull Mori. I believe it references the film he's from, but regardless of that, it's just sort of eh for a character who has access to the dream world. The drop down of the hand with the clawed glove is a nice cinematic aspect to it. Skull Merchant's Mori I think is just really bad, it doesn't make too much sense with the survivor seeming confused, and the way she does just a single swipe is a little dull. I do like the way she moves her hands up the survivor, it's quite creepy. Twins with Victor is a bit better than the one where they are apart, as they have a small interaction where Charlotte lets Victor loose, and he does the final jump onto the survivor. An improvement over the other one, but still quite simple. Executioner's Tormented Mori is very short and simple, with him just swinging his blade down. I weirdly think this one is effective though, just due to how fast it happens and it feeling very sudden and brutal. Spirit has a Mori which I'm not the biggest fan of, I think it's a little too screamy, she just slashes away, finally screaming at the survivor. It reflects likely how she herself died, with her slashes landing in the same places she was hit. It's an interesting connection, but I think the Mori itself isn't the best still. Huntress has a relatively straightforward Mori, it's quite brutal the way the axe swings down and she pushes them back with her foot. It's simple but quite character fitting. Doctor's one I've always thought was pretty boring. It's a little different with him rubbing his hands and sort of getting a charge together before letting it out on a survivor. However, there's not much to it. Artist has a very strange Mori with her implanting her ink crows into the survivor's chest, only for it then to burst out. It does work well for her, I guess, but definitely one of the stranger Moris. Plague's Mori is really gross, which is to be expected with Plague. Her Mori has her vomit into the survivor's face and mouth, I guess, and sort of drench them in vomit before hitting them away. It's really disgusting, but works well for Plague, with her saying a few words at the end too. A unique Mori. Pigs is simple but very brutal with her slashing down and then following it up with a jab, which is blocked by the survivor. This interaction is pretty unique and gives a bit of a back and forth between the two sides. A bit like Trapper, it's odd her own trap isn't included, but this one is quite effective still. Bubba's Mori is really horrible, and one of the more brutal ones, with the initial slam with the cattle hammer, and then a follow up of the chainsaw. The whole thing is really off putting to watch. Singularity's Mori is incredibly gross, and is the first time we sort of get a Mori actually change the environment somewhat, with it altering the survivor's visuals. I think Hux's speech also adds to this a lot, the janky voice feeling very unsettling. Nurse's one is a Mori I'm not too sure of, and it partly comes down to the many contradictions of her lore. I want to like this one, but I feel like it just feels so inconsistent. It's unique for the fact that it's more of an intimate Mori, I suppose you could say, and has her not even use a weapon. Wesker has a relatively simple Mori, starting out with the survivor slapping away his glasses. A big mistake, as we all know Wesker loves his shades. The rest of the Mori is quite boring, I think, with the Ouroboros, but I do like how he puts on another pair of glasses at the end to bookmark it. Myers has quite an intimidating Mori, with him lifting the survivor, and the imbalance of power becoming very evident, as they're unable to do anything. It's creepy how he sort of just stares at them whilst he does this, his soulless eyes glaring away. 
play. Nemesis has a very brutal but simple Mori, lifting the survivor up with his tentacle before stomping down. It's a very disturbing Mori and works well with his brutal nature and size. Blight has a disturbing Mori with him injecting the survivor with the Blight Serum. It causes a strange reaction with a large pustule bubble thing forming, which he subsequently pops. It works well for Blight and is really gross. Deathslinger has one of the simpler yet brutal Moris, first stomping down and hearing that horrible snap sound, and then following it up by firing the Redeemer. It's very brutal and fits Slinger and his reputation well. Xenomorph's Mori is quite simplistic, but mirrors the scene from the film, and also looks pretty cool with the mouth opening and then the smaller mouth extending out. This one is a little more cinematic. Oni has one of the more brutal Moris, with him using both of his weapons within it. The sword comes down, then he does the whole tongue thing, which is super disturbing, finally using the Kanabo. It's a little too much, I think, although it does fit him well and betrays his rage clearly. Clown does technically have two. There's this one, which happens when you Mori female survivors, and then there's this one, which happens when you Mori male survivors. This was done purely for the fact of Ash Williams' existence. He can't have a metal finger taken, so it's done this way. I'm going to rank them together, as there's really no difference here. The crack in this Mori after the stomps he does is horrible, and then how he later takes a trophy is super super disturbing, but unsurprising for Clown. Naughty Bear's Mori to me is basically just what everyone wanted for Trapper. It is good, and it incorporates Trapper's power well, however it's still not the most exciting. I do like how Naughty screams at the end though, and the survivor being flung into the trap is pretty brutal. Executioner has a very dramatic Mori, with him lifting the survivor up with a single hand, wrapping them in metal, and then plunging his great knife in. It's very over the top, but it works well for Pyramid Head, who has his oversized blade. Legion have a Mori with a lot more back and forth, with the survivor pushing back. The Mori itself is really brutal, with just how they repeatedly jab away until finally pinning them down. It works well with them being smaller as characters and more equal to the survivor size. Demogorgon's Mori is very brutal, with it just absorbing the survivor and swinging around a bunch. It's like a dog with a toy. Really very brutal and fitting for Demo. Trickster is a little bit of a show-off with his Mori as you might expect, with him throwing a blade up at the start that later lands on his autographed photo, then in between peppering his blades out. It fits him well and is one of the more performative Moris. Knight's Mori is one of the most complex ones, with all three of his guards also taking part. Each of them do sort of a signature thing before Tahos finishes it off. It's a little over the top I think, but it's also definitely one of the more complex ones and a bit more unique, with the whole situation of the Mori seeming very hopeless. Cenobite has a unique Mori, with him being the only character I think to not finish the survivor, instead using the chains to hold them and then wrapping them around a pillar, only to portal them away to presumably the labyrinth. Very unique and super disturbing. The Chucky Mori is pretty cool and has a lot of different features, such as the hammer coming down initially, and then him kind of jumping on the survivor and doing a few different things. It definitely feels very character fitting, and it's unique kind of for the fact that he's so small as well. This one I think works quite well. Hag has a very brutal Mori, where she removes some sort of piece of meat, super gross, but also very brutal and honestly quite fitting for Hag, with her large claw, and with her being overtaken with her animalistic nature. Sadako has a very brutal Mori with her lifting the survivor up with her telekinetic ability, and then causing lots lots of snaps afterwards. It's very brutal and disturbing and creepy, and works well with her having her psychic powers. Ghostface's Mori is one of the more liked ones within the community, and it's understandable, with it being a bit more comical and fitting his character well. He does a few stabs, then takes a selfie with the camera, checking out the photo after. Super messed up. It works well with his character and sort of shows off the fun he's having too, which is... Ugh. Dredge has a very creepy Mori with him slowly pinning lots of different items into the survivor, like screwdrivers and stuff like that, before pulling them into its mass. This is one of the creepier Moris, and definitely up there for me. This one is the best for just being really unsettling, I think, with that final shot where they're absorbed into the fog, which really sums up Dead by Daylight as a whole. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and be sure to drop your own thoughts too, down below. Thanks and goodbye.